So today we are going to start transforming and making this house spotless. Yes, we're starting that today. So, Connor and Snapping, Bella and Athena are upstairs, Colton's at nursery, so it's time to start. So I'm going to start in the hallway. I'm going to make this kind of like a serious thing because it's going to take me a while to do, but we're going to go on the journey anyway. So first of all, the hallway I need to do is clean off the walls and clean the skirting boards, get them white and sparkling again. So I've got my Miracle um, clean with pink stuff, Miracle Paste, which I'll put on any marks and leave on for a few minutes, but I'll put it on with just a Tesco sponge at the end of the day. Then I've got two cloths, one to wipe it clean with, I'm going to make it damp, and also one there because I'm going to spray them with Sephora just to make the hallway smell nice. So, let's get on with it and let's get it done. I'm going to start on this bit of the hallway. As you can see, the scatterboard needs to be brightened up a bit, and as you can see, there's loads of marks from where the kids were drawn everywhere. So... I tried to keep on top of this, but this is the wall. I do let it go because I just kind of everyone walks by it. So let's get on with this. See, I've started. I've started doing this wall, this bit here, and along the skirting board. So we're going to dampen this cloth. Oh, I got it all over me. We're going to dampen this cloth and then see what it looks like. Let me just go and wipe this clean and see what we cut from. Remember, this all had marks on it, black marks, and then finish probably so at the beginning. Rewind if you didn't, and then we'll see what it turned into. So yeah, quite excited. As you can see, the black marks over here. I haven't done that bit, we're all over here. Just look at the difference already from literally a bit of miracle paste and a cloth. I'm well impressed, so I'm gonna speed you up and get the rest done anyway. <laughs> You can actually see so here we had loads of marks but i don't know if you can see in this lighting to be honest like here ever so slightly there are two different shades that just shows you how much is pulled up off miracle paste and look at the skirting board it's already back to white as well i just can't believe how well it's done i need to do this bit because you can see here this is a bit i haven't done the skirting board and then along here this is a bit i have done these are little chippings natural um things that have happened so a lick of paint will do that but compared to that dull side you've got a very bright white side and it's lifted off really well here i've noticed there's some paste left there this is just an old towel because um hannah doesn't fit in it anymore so we use it as a rag so there's a bit of advice if you have any babies any baby towels old and left over use them as rags but i'm so chuffed with how that's lifted up and down here so what I actually might do is I'm going to do all the door frame, this door frame as well, and then do the skirting boards and the other door frames, and then I'll leave that today, and then tomorrow I think I'm going to, or later on if I get to do the walls, all of them. Yeah, it's super chuffed. But while I'm doing all this hard work, um, I thought I'd share with you some deodorant I got gifted. So this is by Fuzzy. Um, let me turn the telly off a minute. Got gifted some lovely au naturel deodorant from fuzzy and now it can take up to two weeks to take its um to start so the whole point of this deodorant is it's not to stop you sweating but it's to counteract the chemicals that create the smell of sweat so it takes away the smell and it's smelling good so if you haven't used natural um deodorant before then it can take up to two weeks for the smell to kind of go once you wear the deodorant i've used natural um, deodorant before so it didn't it literally worked first time for me now fuzzy how cute is this so the back of it it's always been <laughs> rubbish so fuzzy is a um you can subscribe i believe or just order um refillable they're refillable so it's one single use plastic you can get rid of all your old deodorant all the plastic that you didn't recycle because we never used to and then you have fuzzy so fuzzy has if I undo this bit for you to show you. Re um fillable deodorant. So the one I got gifted was delicious coconut and it smells divine. So you simply place it in and there's Bob's your uncle. So they come in a variety of colours for um the cases. I got gifted pink, which I've got to admit I'm a massive pink fan, so I'm really, really happy about that. 
So um, you come with a variety of cases and you get a variety of scents as well that you can choose from. Now, normally they recommend you buy a set of three and every three months you get that. So you can choose your aroma and you can buy more if you want, less if you want. But the whole point is you save a lot of money as well. So we go out and say you buy Dove deodorant or whatever. Yeah, they're a couple of quid. But how many do you actually buy? Quite a lot. Because what happens is you lose it or you have to get, you want a different scent or this and that. The whole point with fuzzy is that it's a natural chemicals as well. There's no chemicals in it. It's natural, natural ingredients. And the theirs differ because they have a special ingredient that counteracts the, the odour that sweat creates, which I find super fascinating. Now, I've been using this for a few days now since I got it. And honestly, I haven't had to reuse it through the day. Like I did previously with different companies. I was constantly applying it through the day. Whereas fuzzy, I apply it once and it lasts, which is insane. Um, comes in a lovely box, recyclable as well, and um, yeah, it's it's pretty amazing in all honesty. I, I can't recommend it enough. Honestly, please go and have a look at them. Go have a look at their website. Go have a look at their Instagram, and see what you think yourself. They also have a YouTube channel. They're eco friendly, and it's literally natural. That's the whole point. It's natural, and the good thing about the refillable things, they um, they decompose themselves within five to six months because they're made out of sugar cane. So there is no wastage going on and no harm to the planet. And yeah, that's what I love about fuzzy. So I thought I'd just share with you those because it's the best time to do it because I'm cleaning. And of course you need deodorant, so yeah. And fuzzy for gifting me this item. And I really do appreciate it. And I'm super, super happy. So yeah, I, I will tag them below. Please go see them on Instagram. And if you want to try them, try them. Honestly, I promise you, you won't regret it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. We're about to clean in this hallway, so... So they have arrived and we're gonna get them up. So we've got to tidy up all of this mess here, get rid of that table, get rid of the table that's hidden behind Geordie as well. Here. And Mr. Hunty's gonna watch us, aren't you, buddy? And do a quick clean in the kitchen, obviously, because it's just a pigsty at the minute. But oh, I can't wait. So I'll try and get some speed up bits for this clip here, obviously, to show you the difference. If I don't, because I'm recording for TikTok and I've only got one phone because I'm so good at this, um, I'm going to show you an after thing. I'll show you an after thing, actually. So, this is before. I'll show you all because I'm going to tidy everything up before. Before shot. And I will show you the after shot. So, this is the finished product. So, we've got a lot more room compared to before right here. Ignore Athena's top, it's just there for a minute. And Bella's notebook that she's forgotten to move. So you can fit four people along these, only £30 each as well, and they're really, really sturdy, so I'm so super, super chuffed. So the next plan of this room is, so we've got the high chair hidden there, the waters are going, and that is my um, chunky knit that I need to do, that I've moved upstairs. But the aim is to get another one of these tables to put here, to have two extra seats. And then, screws are recycling, that's getting done shortly. The bin's going to have to move, because what we want to get is a pantry to go here, so we want like a nice unit where you can pull it open and have all the herbs, spices, tin, jars and everything in the top and with two drawers hopefully at the bottom that the kids can put all their play-doh and stuff in because originally the original plan was to put a plastic top here with all the play-doh and paints and everything for them to do so yeah, hopefully that will work but we started revamping the kitchen and I'm so so happy I just need to kind of do this bit later which I'll share on um, a reel on Instagram um, reorganise all that and get that neat and tidy but I feel happy of how far we've come for £30 each that, that's literally a bargain I didn't expect it and then obviously in the next few months we'll be getting some bar stools they will have back some there are actually matching ones to go with those that's what we'll be getting next but for now the chairs are okay we normally put some pillows on the kids are just at height enough um, so it's still safe for them and yeah I feel so happy and then we're going to get something to go on the wall here and a clock hopefully as well to bring a bit more colour and patch up all the little marks on the wall as well from the wind, from the stickers that have been up there for Christmas and then carry on. We've got one more thing arriving today from the kitchen which is just a gadget thing that I will share with you as well before I end this vlog but um, the revamp of the house has begun and <laughs> so super super chaps. So don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to join in revamping our household this year as well along with vlogs weekly food hauls and everything like that and we'll do some baking cooking and everything i'm gonna get more on youtube because i really enjoy doing youtube i think most people enjoy watching me i hope i'm gonna try and like 
as you may see in this one, I've got an intro and an outro now, and I'm going to try and work harder on my thumbnails, just to try and push the algorithm a bit, because I seem quite behind everyone. But yeah, so I'm going to show you the gadget, and then I'll put you in the vlog here, so let's see the gadget. So here is our new nifted gadget, a free in walk egg for you. <laughs> Super, super excited for this. So it does a one-touch operation, omelette trays, boiled egg trays, and a poached egg tray. I am super, super chuffed with this. How cool is this? Let's get out of the box and I'll show you. First of all, you get a nifty little measuring jug, just so you know all the exact amount of water you need to put in the machine. And then you have the machine itself. How cute. Let me take it the kitchen. So as you can see, it's such a nifty little thing. So there's the switch on and off, obviously. And it's like an egg. <laughs> it's amazing. So we got the copper and the blue one. Might be a hint towards our themed colour that we are going to do around the kitchen. Inside you have your slots for where you're going to put your eggs. Oh, there's a bit of plastic there, lovely. Let's get that out. Where you're going to put your eggs. And then in this bit, I'm assuming, because obviously you can take all the compartments off, you have your omelette, no, your poached eggs that you can put in there. And finally, you also have a mini omelette maker, which would be pretty good to try out, I think. I think it's so class, honestly. It's such a nifty little machine. Like, honestly, look at that. How cute is that? So that again, it shows you the omelette tray, the poached eggs and the boiled eggs. I feel so quite chuffed with it. It makes my life easier and the kids because I can make little omelettes for all the little ones as well. Like an omelette shirt between them with all their fresh fruit and stuff like that. Or just an omelette for my size, perfect size as well. Or poached eggs on toast, boiled eggs smashed in a salad. Oh, the joys of eggs. I've never known the joys of eggs so much. But yeah, so that's the end of that. End the vlog there. Um, another bit of revamp from the home. Once I have find a place for it, I'll do a little... I'm going to do probably another cleaning one, but one of decluttering the sides in the kitchen and stuff like that because the kitchen sides are going to get majorly decluttered. So I may record that, but I have... I don't know yet, I don't know what the next video, I think it's going to be cutting the sides and getting that recorded for you guys to share that with you and just revamping the sides really to begin with before we purchase anything else and a food haul of course. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this, if you have please hit the subscribe button, excuse the mess of my hair and give us a thumbs up and I will see you next time.